this week, we're blessed to celebrate the coming of another year with fireworks, parties, and cheers of goodbye to 2021 and hello to 2022. At the start of a new year, many people use the opportunity to take stock in their lives. They make resolutions to lose weight, exercise more, save money, or stop procrastinating. There's nothing inherently wrong with making a New Year's resolution. However, have you ever noticed that resolutions are often focused on self-improvement? Why do we often base our New Year's resolution on things we do not like about ourselves or things we think will make us whole? Why, when reflecting on our lives, do we tend to look at what we do not have versus what we do have? The truth is, God wants something different and better for us. While we do actively participate in the works to become more like Christ, our triune God invites us to be focused on the blessings we have already received and how we are being transformed by the goodness of God. Paul writes, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will to the praise of his glorious grace, which he has freely given us in the one he loves. The reality is that if we are in Christ, we have already been blessed beyond imagination. It is God's pleasure to bless his children, and he does not withhold his best from us. What would happen if we made our New Year's resolution in light of what we have received in Christ? What if we saw ourselves as overflowing with blessings? What if we saw ourselves as already chosen and adopted in Christ? For this new year, I challenge us to rest in the truth of what God says about humanity. Through Jesus Christ, we are holy and blameless in his sight. I pray that we will experience every spiritual blessing in Christ, no matter what this year has in store. I'm Cara Garrity, speaking of life.